Hi, this is a Yesterday's News production, and we're back with Wonder Boy Ash and Monster World for the Nintendo Switch. We're going to go ahead and go to the next area. I'm not sure if I've talked to this guy before. The queen is in trouble. She must be saved. Oh, my queen, my queen. What should I do? So I've noticed that this area is slightly easier than it was in Monster World 4, which is much appreciated. The first section was typically pretty challenging, but now it's somewhat more manageable. I think they moved where the enemies are located. That might be why. Above the clouds. I would say that this section does look better than Monster World 4. Certainly a lot more detailed. And now we get this item. Magic Carpet. And unlike in Monster World 4, you don't have to go into your inventory to use it. A whole new world, a new fantastic point of view. No one to tell us no, where to go. Say we're only dreaming. Hopefully the audio will stay in sync this time around. I've been having a lot of problems with it. I'm not sure why it goes out of sync. I think it just might be that my computer is not powerful enough to handle high definition. Or maybe it has to do with the fact that I record myself talking at the same time. Maybe because two programs are open, it makes the recording slightly out of sync. So here we are, in the castle. Well, going to be in the castle. Sky Castle. So now we have these bumpers. That's a new addition. A new mechanic, you might say. A lot of those switches that you step on in Monster World 4, I believe, were timed. Ouch! But it seems to me that in this version, some of them just permanently activate, which makes this section of the game easier. If I'm right on that, it's certainly appreciated. If I'm wrong, then they certainly did tweak it in some way to make it easier. Wait, let me see if there's something over there. Gotta make sure I get all the life drops. As per usual, I played through this section to see how long it would take. And I did collect all the life drops without having to work very hard to get them. So I'm expecting that I will get all the life drops this time around. Wow. 
gold bar. Don't really need those now. Okay, gonna wait here until that machine thing that carries this lung drops. If you go too early, then it makes this section impossible because you can't jump across without using the giant machine. And I found it's better to wait for two of those to pass by. At least that's the way it was in Monster World 4. Maybe it's not that way in this one. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be the same. Oops. And we're back to where we started. At this point, I really don't need to be collecting gold. Oopsie. in the box. Life drops. Oh, I forgot to check how many life drops in total we're supposed to get. I believe it's 33. And I haven't been keeping track. Ho ho ho! How does it feel to adventure alone? Don't worry, your blue pebblegoo yet lives. So young adventurer, do not despair. Wanna get that life drop up there? Maybe you don't get it this way. Okay, I think you have to drop down from above. Yes, that's what you have to do. on top of this thing. Life drop. See, this switch is not timed. Gotta wait for the machine down below to pass by. Oh no! Now here's where things get tricky. Oh no! That's probably going to happen a lot. Maybe not as much as it did in Monster World 4, but certainly enough. Hup. 
This one is timed. Which makes it even more fun. I think I should be okay. Yes, did it. First try. That's great. Gotta make sure there's no life drop up here. No, that's our eventual goal. going to buy the herb because I might need those later possibly okay go down here I believe Life drops. By the way, notice that I have full hearts right now, but I still have more life drops to collect. That makes th makes things very confusing because in Monster World 4, all the life drops that you collect give you blue hearts, but now you collect more life drops than blue hearts, if that makes any sense. Really don't have to worry too much about health because eventually we will get a big heart that will give us full life. There's a life drop up there that I want to get. Didn't get it. Now I got it. By the way, running into these barriers, yeah, <laughs> makes you lose life, as I just demonstrated. Usually I go this place last, but I'm going to do it first this time because I kind of just don't want to forget this gold bar. Not that I need it. This jump is very tricky. Gonna make sure that the platforms line up. Too faint to hear. All of these little people are too faint to hear right now. Now we'll get some health back. Now the little mice are giant mice and give us full health. Occasionally they might give a uh, big coin as well. But I have max gold right now so it really doesn't matter. Banish darkness. Bring light onto this land. I think they all say the same thing except for this guy. Are you the hero? 
Gods be praised, so my brother did make it safely to the city. I'm so relieved. We were shrunk down as you can plainly see. We cannot escape from here. To return to our normal size, we must enter the old magic, the other magic gate. But the monster guards it. We dare not go near. Brave hero, please defeat the monster. Okay, I'll go ahead and do that. Make sure there's nothing over here. Now we got this giant blob. Once we defeat all of these electrical creatures, it will eventually start backing off. Make sure to block its tongue. Finally. And just like that, it's defeated. Gotta make sure to go here, get this stuff. Medical herb. Life drops. Elixir, but the inventory is full. Really don't need it. Make sure there's nothing else here. How many medical herbs do I have? Three. I thought I had more. All right. Oh no! Now I'm warped back to this side, which makes jumping slightly easier. So I'll say I did that on purpose. Even though I obviously didn't. Don't really need it. I guess I could give myself full health. Why not? Okay. Wow, that was... That was lucky. That was not lucky. Okay, now this bumper is easier to see. It's not hidden by the environment, like in Monster World 4. Thank you. 
Okay, so what you want to do here is uh, slide down this chain. Okay. Then stop at the bottom of the chain, wait for the air to go by, and open the chest as quickly as possible. The medical herb. Oh, didn't mean to attack you there, guy. Ho, ho, ho. Keep going. You're almost there. Anyway, want to hear a fun rope fact? If you jump from the very top, you'll hit the ceiling and won't travel far. Don't forget what I just told you. Yes, that's actually very useful information. Gonna stop here, make sure that the wind is not blowing. Then step on the switch, fall down, grab onto the chain, quickly jump over. There we go. Oh, I think I can just go. Get some life drops. Kind of hard to see that there are actually life drops there, but there are. <laughs> I am the Cloud Wizard. <laughs> You've done well making it this far. <laughs> However, even if you defeat me, there is no way to save the people of the city. <laughs> it's too late for that. You may be a hero, but you're only a mortal. <laughs> I'm walking right into his zappy thing. Did I get all the life drops? Yes, and it was 30, not 33. I'm only worried about Rapidagna now. Did I get all of the life drops in Rapidagna? Thank you for saving me! I'm the Wind Spirit! What a terrible mess this has become. The Cloud Wizard has held me prisoner here for a long, long time. It seems the Queen has been caught in the Wizard's web. They intend to dominate the people's minds and control them at will. It cannot be tolerated. But what can we do? Can the Queen and her people be saved? Ah, uh, I wish I knew.
And that's it for now. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. So thank you very much for watching. This has been a Yesterday's Moose production, and I'll see you next time.